Hello everyone, thanks for watching this short video and this one is in regards to converting to QuickBooks Online from QuickBooks Enterprise, though this probably won't happen often. It's more that your clients are going to go from Pro or Premier. There might be a need to go from Enterprise to QuickBooks Online and currently that new way uh, where you see the option under the company menu in Pro or Premier, it says export company file to QBO, is not in Enterprise. As you see in my Enterprise, I don't have that option at the bottom. Uh, they didn't put the new uh, method of conversion from desktop to QBO in Enterprise. You still need to use the old way. Let me just explain the new way first, though. You know, when you click on the gear icon, import desktop data, and it's going to bring up a window with different versions. Right? So when you're going up here, and I'm choosing, say, 2010 or 2011, you click Continue, it tells you just under the company menu, go to Export Company File to QuickBooks Online. However, like I said, that's not always going to uh, be the case, uh, particularly for enterprise, because I just proved the option is not there. So how do you get back to the old way, whereas you guys would have known doing it before? You go to File, Utilities, and then you can actually copy the company file for QuickBooks Online. It actually creates an OE.QBW file, and I'm just going to put mine on the desktop for now, and it's going to export the data just to that file on my desktop. But how do you get the new QuickBooks Online to go ahead and browse to that file. Seemingly, it doesn't seem to be a way. Well, first off, you have to be an Internet Explorer. Though you can, uh, when you choose your version, you could be in Chrome or Firefox or something because that's what you guys are using, but it's going to tell you to use Internet Explorer and Internet Explorer 10. So my OE.QBW files is out there waiting for me on the desktop. And this is the old method. Well, to get to the old method, though, what you do is choose 2007 or earlier. Click Continue, and then it tells me you know, I import with Internet Explorer 10 or newer, right? And just import checklist, and I go ahead and start the import. So it is the old method. Uh, however, since there's no new conversion method in Enterprise, I want to make sure you guys knew how to do it in the off chance one of your Enterprise clients wants to convert to QBO, though that's going to be rare. Okay, let's be fair. So I'm going to go ahead and check the, off the box. Um, and, and in this case, it is going to go by file size, not transaction targets. And you can always check the F2 window, right? For file size, it's pretty much less than 250 megabytes, which also might not be viable for your enterprise clients, because most of those guys are much larger file anyway. But just let me show you how it's uh, done. You can always do some condensing, etc. Go ahead and click Continue. And then it has to install ActiveX. You go ahead and click to install the ActiveX. And it'll tell you congratulations, and then you click Continue and QuickBooks for Windows, prepare your file. It tells you exactly how to do it. Yes, I've already prepared my file, right? That's the one I saved from Enterprise on the desktop. Let's go to step three. And now we're ready to import the file. So we're gonna go ahead and click Browse and go to your desktop and then choose the oe.qbw file and then go ahead and click Continue. And it's gonna process the file and don't close the file while it's uploading, right? You'll see the percentages there. Now, when it hits 100%, go ahead and click Continue again. And then within the next 24 hours, but really what we mean is about 10 or 15 minutes, you'll get an email. Um, you want to sign out at QBO, but you'll get an email uh, to sign in. It'll tell you it's ready. We converted the data, you know, up to 24 hours, but it's usually much faster than that. Granted, the new way is a lot faster for certain, but still, this is what you have if you are converting from uh, QuickBooks Enterprise and you don't see that option underneath the company menu or the newer way to convert, you're going to do it the old way. And the key thing here is you got to be an Internet Explorer and it has to be IE10. And when you're in the QBO file, when you go to import desktop data, choose, even though you might have 12 or 13 or, or 11 or 14 enterprise, choose QuickBooks 07 and you'll get the steps for the old way. I hope that was helpful. You guys have a great day.